Hi, this is Nick Williford and Manos Berlakis presenting case 197 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case of a technique called airmail that we'll present in a second. The patient was a nonagenarian who came with unstable angina. He had multiple previous PCIs. We see, we see that there's previous stents. And he had this uh, 99% lesion in this ramus branch, as well as uh, some disease into the LAD. The lesion in the ramus seems to be fairly stenotic. The one in the LAD seems to be more on the intermediate range. And we had also a lot of difficulty engaging the right coronary artery that also had a stent in the proximal segment. Whenever we could engage, we would get severe pressure dampening. But eventually, after switching for a 3DRC, we were able to engage the vessel and obtain an image. And what we see here is a significant osteal stenosis. We barely see any backflow of contrast coming into the aorta. That was a very gentle injection, and then we'll pull the catheter at the end of the injection. So very tight osteal right coronary artery along with the ramus. And this seemed to be the culprit lesions. The middle AD was intermediate in the 50% range, but the ramus as well as the right coronary artery seemed to be the more severe lesions. So we decided to treat them. We started from the right coronary artery, but once again, we had a lot of difficulty engaging the vessel because every time we would go close, then the pressure would dampen and then the catheter would come out. Instead, we use a technique called air mail, which means we have the catheter sitting outside the ostium of the coronary artery, but then facing towards the coronary artery. And then we advance a guide wire. This is a workhorse wire in this particular case, and that wire advances and goes into the right coronary. The next step was to use a guide extension, which would be less likely to cause pressure dampening due to the lower profile, but delivery was also quite challenging despite trying to use the inch warming technique. Inch warming means we inflate the balloon halfway and halfway out, but we just couldn't get the balloon distal enough. Eventually, we got the balloon to the proximal RCA. We inflated the balloon, and this is essentially distal anchor and it's warming together. We're inflating the balloon, and then we're deflating the balloon and advancing the guide extension, the six French guide extension, that successfully enters into the RCA. We then delivered a 3 by 22 millimeter drag eluting stent. The stent was positioned along the ostium. We have here the stent coming back. Uh, slightly into the aorta. Sometimes we can put a wire into the aorta, that's called the Walpo technique, to help delineate the ostium, and then deploy the stand. And this is how it looks like, with nice backflow coming back into the aorta. However, we did want to confirm we had a nice result. We had, again, difficulty delivering, but eventually we were able to advance an intravascular ultrasound, and we do have good stand expansion, we're coming back towards the aorta. In this case, the catheter was quite engaged. So um, we did a little post dilatation on the proximal part of the right coronary artery with a 3.25 millimeter NC balloon. Again, a geographically nice result, although we're not really completely engaged. And this is the final IVUS in which we used uh, chromaflow. We're coming back, and now we're going from the aorta into the RCA, and we do see that uh, essentially we do have a nice osteal coverage of the right coronary artery. We then decided to go to treat the obtuse marginal, but we were unable to wire through the lesion, which was highly stenotic with a standard workhorse guide wire. So what to do next? We took a Sion Black, which is a soft, non-tapered, polymer jacketed wire, and with mild rotation, we were able to get it through the lesion. So lesions that are highly stenotic sometimes can be more easily crossed using a polymer jacket wire. Given the small size of the vessel, we decided to do just ballooning. So we use a 2.0 millimeter balloon, and that provides a nice result into the ramus as well. Few lessons from this case. The first one is the air mail technique. This is when we have difficulty engaging a coronary vessel or bypass graft. What we do? is we park the catheter as close as we can to the ostium of the coronary artery and then advance a guide wire 
from the disengaged guide towards the coronary, and if the wire enters into the coronary, it can be advanced further down and be used as a rail to deliver additional equipment and better engage the artery. So air mail technique. The other one is the distal anchoring and its warming. To be able to get the guide extension into the RCA, we inflated a balloon partially inside the RCA, partially outside. Balloon was deflated and the guide extension could be delivered. Third, when treating aorto-ostia lesions, IVOS can help to confirm that we've covered the ostium with stent. And finally, when trying to cross highly stenotic lesions, this was a very tight instant ramus lesion. The workhorse wire failed, but the polymer jacketed wire successfully crossed the lesion. Thank you.